Welcome. Um, this is the second week of Advent, and our theme is peace. And so the verse I chose is John 14, 27, and it says, I am leaving you with a gift, a peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. You see, God loves us so much. He gives us things. He, he thinks about us. He, he prepares us. He gives us ways to know him. And um, this is one gift that he has given us. And it's just this calming peace, uh, this, inner, this inner peace, this calming spirit that, that only he can give. It's a harmony that we have um, because of him. And, and because of that, we can share it with others. And so um, this is something that um, is, is beautiful and it's a gift that he can give us. And so at this time of year, we celebrate the baby Jesus, the newborn baby Jesus, the King of Kings who, and Lord of Lords who walked this earth, who breathed the same air that men uh, breathed. And um, wherever he went, he brought peace. Uh, there were those who did not accept it and those who did not get that peace, but he was the giver of peace. And what a gift that is. And so we should, at this time, prepare our hearts for the second coming. We need to prepare like the wise men did as they prepared for their journey, where they studied the scriptures and they knew the signs. And so we too need to study the scripture and prepare our minds and our hearts for what is to come, to know God's word and be prepared for whatever it is that comes our way. Also, Mary and Joseph, uh, the angels prepared them uh, by giving them all the information that they needed about the things that were going to happen to them. And so it is good for us, likewise, to prepare ourselves to know that, um, that there is a peace that is coming that um, will be his final peace, that he's gonna come to this world and he is going to fix a broken world and he will come again. And so we are um, blessed because of it, all these beautiful things that he does for us. And so I want to encourage you to do an activity. And this is um, something that you might do for somebody else. So you might think about somebody that you wouldn't normally do for. Um, I'm thinking maybe give um, some sort of gift because God has given us a gift and it doesn't have to be anything elaborate. It can be something very simple. A drawing, um, maybe a card, maybe something you do, some, some sort of, uh, think about somebody that you wouldn't normally give a gift for, but somebody that maybe you have been praying for or has been on your mind or um, somebody that you maybe wouldn't likely do for. Uh, think about that. And then think how you might bless that person or family. And um, step out together, either individually or together as a family. This is something that you might do. But um, I do want to also leave, with, leave you with one other verse. Um, this is a good time for us to think about um, all this goodness that God has given us and, and take this time not to overwork ourselves to death where you're constantly um, putting too many things into your schedule, but leave it um, and give yourself time to sit and to prepare your heart. Um, also, I just wanted to end with Revelations 1.4. It says... Grace and peace to you from the one who is, who always was, and who is still to come. Shalom.